Hey guys, this is the Hoor from Tennis House. I'm so happy to be out here on a sunny day and explain to you guys the backhand, the two-handed backhand from scratch. So I will go through the seven checkpoints, the, the grip, the unit turn, the loading phase, the acceleration phase, the contact point, the follow-through and the finish. And I use today the two-hander. And the first video we shot on the forehand side was a huge success. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. And as always, please subscribe to our channel if you like what we do and click the notification buttons on so you're the first to get when we post new videos. So, all right, guys, this was on the turn. Now the loading and on the loading phase, so we turn, let's say we have a close stance make sure on the loading phase that you distribute the weight nicely from the back here to the front so the weight shift is so important as you're loading so you, you go out you put the weight and turn on the back leg and you shift to the for forward to the front leg so that weight shift is crucial because you want uh, momentum already to help you with the shot you do not want a shot where you hit out of the arm. That's a lot of times when players play, they go and they hit out of the arm and they use their upper body. The, it's a unit, it's a functional movement from the lower and upper body when you hit a backhand and a forehand and any shot. So when you're loading the legs, make sure that you shift from the left to the right leg and that you try to give the ball a nice, powerful explosion from the legs. So the hips, they, when you go, when the hips snap in, the racket's gonna drop in the leg phase, and the, the hip snap gonna release that energy forward into the racket. It all starts from the legs. The ground force, you push into the ground, that's why the loading is so important, because that's where we get energy from. The big muscles run the show, so when you're out here and you're loading into your hip of the back leg, and you go forward and snap the hip in, that's the perfect weight transfer to put all the energy you stored into the shot. And if I go, if I don't go into details, I don't want to go so far into details, but as long as you store your energy, as more you're not you're gonna lose of the energy. So there's a certain time frame, and I always tell players, think about it as a basketball player that wants to dunk, right? So if someone goes down here and waits four seconds, all the stored energy is gone. So especially if that's for all the shots, for the forehand, backhand, so you squat a little bit and you come out. And there's a certain degree, which is the perfect position. I don't know what it was, 20 degrees. And you go down and you go up. And the same here, you load your back leg, you put, your weight, you put the weight on the back leg, you load your hips there, and you load into your hips, and then you go forward and out. And the same on the open stands as well. So you go, you go out, you turn, and it's very important that we have good flexibility in the hips and that we have strong muscles here, that we have good hamstrings, good thighs, good muscles right here so we can push off and hit that ball. So the loading is immensely important and especially having good muscles to support the whole system.